We're back, people, and today we're bringing on film on Liam Eichenberg, Miami Dolphins right guard. And yes, there has been some rough patches this season and throughout his career, but I do think he has improved, and this was his best game of the season, probably his best game of his career. I do think him on the right side, at right guard, looks the best he's ever looked. He looks way more comfortable. Shout out to Butch Berry also, just the O-line coach for what he's done. And really, I know like the stats were like, circulating on twitter of like the no pressures no sacks from him or cotton i do think that was more of like a product of the scheme in like passing situation with tua because he didn't get too many like true one-on-one -on -one pass blocking reps where he had to block for more than two seconds um he did maybe a couple times and he looked solid but most of this video will just be him versus the run him as a run blocker like just when it comes to positioning like getting your hips across just being in the right spot leverage and things like that he has been very, very solid this season in that specific area, and I think he's been a big help to the run game. Now, I wonder what's going to happen with Hunt coming back. It'll be interesting because I think they should just keep Liam as a right guard at this point. I wouldn't mind, you know, whoever they go with that left guard, whether it's him or Cotton, uh, possibly Robert Jones when he probably can return in maybe the next few weeks or so, uh, who they end up rolling with because I do think Eichenberg has looked much better on this right side. But as you can see, just he gets the natural leverage advantage uh, on the backside of some outside zone here and he just instantly wins gets his hips across uh did a good job here he actually is the one who draws this penalty get him to the ground lay on top and then that guy gets mad liam doesn't do anything wrong and then he gets head butted <laughs> so i mean he played it as good as possible uh, it was a negative four yard run because cod missed his assignment but liam just continually has shown good footwork good understanding of positioning leverage hip position body control in the running game that's where he's really shined this season plus the consistency in this game was really good he didn't have like any like major negative reps it's tough to show like a bunch of pass pro in this game because the ball just comes out so quickly but you do see one-on-one -on -one right there like he probably was going to have a solid rep he kind of wins this the jets d line did not give him too much problems he wasn't going against like their biggest studs on most of these plays but he did a better job not getting like overpowered at times i think one rep he got pushed back a decent amount but usually on those plays he would have gotten like taken out he, you can tell he just looks a lot more comfortable with his technique he gets a little overextended here but he still is showing better body control balance just overall comfortability on that right side of the line this is probably the best example of pass protection that we'll see all game long from him because it was one time tua didn't get rid of the ball very quickly ends up actually scrambling and this is a good rep about as good as a rep as you'll see throughout Liam's career in pass protection when it comes to footwork and hand fighting and staying square and patient. Like, look at this. Usually when he would have gotten maybe taken back off guard there a little bit and his footwork is slightly out of position, he usually would have gotten thrown to the side, taken out. But he's able to recover, get his feet anchor, reset those hands underneath. He's hand fighting, resetting those hands, getting back, sustaining. Uh, not like even when he gets tossed aside sustain right there keep your hands inside the chest without holding too and then uh, matching feet, uh, his footwork with his hands everything about that rep was really really nice um, from Eichenberg so you know gotta give credit where credit is due if he can improve who would have thought coming into like this season uh, you would have your right side of the line be Austin Jackson and Liam Eichenberg in a game and you would actually feel pretty good about their performance by the end of the game because those were probably the two guys on the offensive line people were worried about the most jackson has been phenomenal outstanding one of the best offensive linemen on the team eichenberg has had a bit of an up and down season but he's been showing improvement and i think playing better than uh people were expecting at this point decent work from here from eichenberg on the screen selling this slowing this guy down pulling him past using like a slingshot technique and then just getting out in space cutting off like he knows it's like this backside right guard it's gonna be very hard to get out in space and like get down and like lead block for Tyreek especially on the backside of the play so just get there and you know cut off this defensive end because you know this player's not gonna you know catch Tyreek with speed but you never know when players have to stop change directions slow down these guys end up usually end up getting there and getting a tackle from behind but he does a good job just cutting his guy off doing his job I feel like Liam has just played smarter football as the season has gone on Liam has truly become a natural on the backside of like outside zone, backside of toss plays, just cutting people off. That first play we showed, he had the natural advantage, but this guy's more of like a one tech, two eye, and he instantly just cuts him off. Boom, get out of your stance, good uh, burst out of there, and then cut him off. Your aiming points are really good, and now get your hips, flip them across, and now you're exactly where you want to be perfect positioning so uh, that guy never has a chance to make a play especially if this guy has to cut it back sometimes they have to cut back when the edge is super set and liam just completely takes this guy out of the play that's where he really really has a big impact on the game that's uh, very solid football and that's why i wouldn't mind if 
he was going to be the lift guard where I don't think he plays as well, like in, especially in pass protection. I still think he can make an impact there in the running game. And I would feel pretty good about, I think the running is going to be super important. I would feel pretty solid about it if that was the line with him on the left side, Robert Hunter, right guard, who's a dominant run blocker because Jackson, Williams, all good run blockers. And then I think whoever they have at left tackle, whether it's Armstead or Kendall Lamb, I feel pretty comfortable with what they've uh, shown this season. Eichenberg also does it, play side. This time, this guy's playing as like a four eye, and look how easily he just reaches him here. Gets the cutoff. Good work from Jackson helping on the combo. Austin Jackson with a nice rep there too. Just working this, he gets him, you know, in the shoulder there. It just allows Liam to instantly reach, get your positioning across, hook him like this. Good hand placement. Good job just tying your feet with your hands like that so your guy can get to the edge. He was having a lot of good reps on the specific play calls. Even when Eichenberg's not able to get like a super clean cutoff, sometimes he'll get like pushed into the backfield a little bit. He's done a really good job like showing some nuance with his hands to really slow these guys down, getting enough of a, a claim on this guy like this. Even though he's not able to super like hook, reach him, he gets those hands inside the chest. And then once the guy's about to escape outside of it, outside of his frame, he's not holding on, doing just a better job. Uh, slowing down his defender so his guy can get to the edge here even though he's not able to like get the clean cut off gets a uh, push back a little bit that guy never has a chance to make a play because uh, he gets a quality quality block showing some veteran nuance to his play this is probably the one rep in this game I would say Eichenberg had uh, at least a negative on like he got pushed back a little bit here the ball comes out so quickly on the slot fade doesn't really matter like i do like what i see here he's got a good base good stance he's bending at the knees uh pretty good lean up top too not getting overextended he's got good hand placement timing he gets a little bit caught off balance but usually in this situation we saw him earlier how he would have ended up on the ground i feel like he does a better job showing balance strength to recover decent hand placement there too slow down his guy long enough to deliver the slot fade to waddle down the field so while like it wasn't a great rep there were still some positives to take away compared to early on in the season at least plus uh if that's like your worst rep of the game then it's at least it didn't have like a huge impact on the game eichenberg's also done a pretty good job helping like comboing up front and then getting to the second level on linebackers he just does a good job cutting off again taking good angles his aiming points have been really good this season first of all drop that shoulder you sort of like now you rip through it allows connor to hook this guy get that reach block now you take a great angle to 57 um like you can see just the slow like once he gets here he's in a position a lot of guys might try to take a point like right this angle right here he starts to slow down and then shuffle sideways so this guy can stay patient he doesn't completely whiff on 57 because a lot of times O'Lima will miss all linebackers in, in space like this that's just a really good rep and now he's just in control good hand placement cuts him off the whole way so he never has a chance to uh, get to Moser and they pick up a nice seven yard game and then look at the adjustment here made. He's trying to, you know, cut off 57. He's not able to get his head across this time. Slightly different play. You know, he's on the back side of, like, uh, some outside zone here. Not on, like, the play side of a toss. He understands, like, ooh, I'm not going to get the cutoff this time. So now just drive him across. Move him out of the way. And he does, allows Wilson, this guy doesn't get the impact on the play. Allows Wilson to get down and probably pick up an extra couple yards than he could have. That's good work, in my opinion, making those adjustments. Sometimes it's just about... Um, your positioning and when things don't go well you just move them in the opposite direction because running backs are just working off the back of your of the blockers sometimes blocking can be easy the defensive linemen do your job for you and that's just what Liam does he just lets him take that inside gap he has the natural leverage advantage and his first step is going to be the outside he wants this to open up this is a you know outside zone away from the play this guy has no impact as long as you just don't allow him to go in unblock scott free now just drive him take him out of the play use your footwork use your body just to position and everything else gets blocked up perfectly on the play side uh sometimes it can really be easy when the defenders make it like that so they're gonna break down the second touchdown eichenberg had another pretty solid play here where he gets displaced a little bit but he just does a good job here uh like sometimes it's not about like creating a bunch of movement it's really just about positioning and getting your hat on a guy like this this guy creates pushes him to the back here but now like he's not able to cut him off so now he's like i'm just gonna drive pull you with me because sometimes on the back of like these outside zone plays like this you're able to, you're just looking for like these cutback lanes hit get vertical now as long as this guy doesn't make the tackle you're kind of just taking him out of the play um because like look at the rest of the line he resets the line 
And when you have all this room, this is where you can get big plays just like this. They're all not playing on the same like horizontal plane. So he just takes him out of the play like that, pulls him with him like almost. That's pretty savvy stuff there from Eichenberg, even though it's not like a perfect block. So overall, really most consistent, probably best game of the season for Eichenberg. Got to give him a lot of credit, especially when he's run blocking. That stuff's like really impressed me with his season with his, his savviness in that area. So